Would you look at that? What are you doing here? So, I talked about this on the previous Crash Force stream. I just, I, I, bit, I bit the bullet. I got the, I got Crash Nitro Fueled on the Switch. Because I've been waiting for both that and this game, Crash 4, on the PC, specifically on Steam. And uh, Nitro Fueled, which came out first, just didn't come to PC. And Crash 4 came to uh, Blizz Net thing, whatever Blizzard Activision has that is not Steam. So I just got them both on the Switch, and I've been playing a little bit of CTR, getting back into it. Not enough that I want to do a stream of it again, but maybe I'll do like a, maybe I'll do a stream of the online play, some of the stuff that's new to Nitro Fueled. Eventually. Today I'm doing Crash 4, and I have been playing Ketchup. As you'll see once the uh, Switch version loads. I, I, I think I've seen the, the, the PS4 version. Not really, doesn't really load much faster, but... I can tell the Switch version of this and CTR, there's a lot of, like, stuttering as the Switch hardware kind of struggles to keep up. Uh, so, as you can see, I've played catch-up. I got all of the collectibles on the levels that we did on the previous stream. Save for two of them, which I don't have the red and green gem for. In fact, I don't actually know how I get colored gems in this game yet. So, I'll need to get those at some point before I can do the gem platforms on two of those levels. Also, uh, I think Darian mentioned in the in the Discord the uh, the inverted levels are different on a per world basis, but only aesthetically. I only looked at the World One, the Insanity Isle inverted levels, which were like uh, all blue and had a darkness light up kind of motif. The world after that was kind of weird, color filtered, kind of like the embryo fight, and this one is the this is the paint world. Again, not a gameplay mechanic. Being colored or black and white doesn't actually change anything. It's it's just aesthetic. I just I wanted to show that off is all. And World 4 is like all, uh, it's like sepia tone, kinda. Oh, you'll also notice because I got the gems, I now have a bunch of new skins available that I did not have previously. So we might as well try some of those out. At the first stream, I think I only had, like, uh, I had Crash, I might have got Chicken Crash, and I had the Bone Skins. <laughs> eh. They tried. It's not as good as the Mario Odyssey, like Mario 64, but, uh, Crashes in Coco are a lot more animated, so they kind of have to, uh... They kind of just have to do their best to make them look retro. They can't break from the face skeleton too much. Uh, let's start by doing some of the new flashback tapes. Because I got a bunch of those, and I haven't played those. I'm saving these. I'm saving any levels that I haven't played for on stream. Oh, 
Uh oh. Let's try this again. This is like chess. You just gotta plan ahead a little bit. Subject continues to respond favorably to Wampa after rejecting all other foods. make a mistake. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. No, I think I'm still good. Alright. Hello, Darian. Uh, I got CTR. Nitro Fuel, so I've been playing that off stream. My master, your allergy. Oh, it's fine. You can clean it. <laughs> oh, okay. We, we've got Cortex lore. Cortex is allergic to Wumpas. You got the mic up and running. Uh, how's that go? How'd that go? Like, how's it sound? I guess it's kind of hard to tell without a, a point of comparison, necessarily. Did I make a boo-boo? No, I'm good. I'm fine. I think. Like, th this level seems a lot more complicated than it is. Oh. That's fine. I, d I don't need Wumpa, I just need all the crates. Stream cameo. Uh, you were right about the different worlds all having a different uh, inverted aesthetic. They are all aesthetic, though. Like there's not a uh, there's not a gameplay difference. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, oh, I have to be Crash. I'm not allowed to be Coco. Uh, And now I'm having trouble having conversation because I gotta focus on these levels. Uh Crash Team Nitro Crash Team Nitro. Racing Kart Ultra play. Crash Team Ra Racing Nitro Field has a lot of I don't I don't want to say microtransactions. I guess it is microtransactions. It's a lot of uh, you got you gotta use uh, in-game currency to buy a lot of the unlockable stuff. There's a fair amount of aesthetic stuff that you can get just uh, by completing things in the game as well. But most of the most of the characters you have to uh, spend points on, which you can technically get by playing the game. 
they accumulate very slowly. Like slower than Austin knots, I want to say. That's a dead one. Of all characters, the one that I did, uh, the one that I unlocked thus far is Mega Mix. The weird monstrosity from the from the Game Boy Advance game. I want to get the uh, I want to get the Flag Girls. I think it's cool that they're playable. Oh. Wow, oh, that works. Compared to the last subject, the increased okay, what am I doing? The bandicoot skull seems to be paying off. The increased what? stand here. Oh, I blow up. Oh, okay. Well, that was strangely generous of them. To make that not spawn until you, uh... still get bonked. Well, if they just did the same thing again, though, I'm mean, looking at, at Nitro Fueled, the way they have all the characters locked behind uh, this point system. But they just do that again for Crash Bash. They're made. I, somehow that worked. Oh boy, how are we gonna get up there? What is this gonna activate? Okay. Uh. Oh. Oh, that's right. That's something I mentioned in the Discord. Uh, so for some reason, in Nitro Fueled, there is a Rillaroo and a fixed Rillaroo. Apparently, people didn't like their original design for updated Rillaroo in Nitro Fueled. And they made one that was more on model with his Crash Bash design. But... That's not what I find weird. What I find weird is that there are two separate slots on the CSS and on the character select screen, and one is named Fixed Rillaroo. Like, you couldn't have made him skins or something? Let's try Biker Crash. The extra anachronistic with Biker Crash in pre-Crash 1 test chamber.
There's also, uh... There was, uh... What was, what's the bad guy in Crash Nitro Kart? There was Emperor Velo, and there was another character called Real Velo. That was like a little dude. Maybe that maybe I just forgot how Crash Nitro Kart ended. Was there like uh Did it end with him being like the Wizard of Oz and it's just a little dude in a in a suit or something? It's been too long. I I didn't do the hundred percent when I played it on stream. Fancy maneuvering. This is like, these are like indie game levels. Oh boy. Uh, hmm. Oh, I miss those shorts. So breezy. Poodles of room in the air. Many explosives in this level. Bull! And a checkpoint, fortunately. Crashmaker win. These could totally pass for Crashmaker levels. I would believe that in a second. This is the kind of stuff people would make. At least as far as 2D levels go. Because it is, I, I mentioned this, Crash is still mostly gr kind of grid-based. I mean, not completely, especially when it comes to, like, the, uh, the full 3D levels, but... There's still significant portions of the game that are just very cubic. There were some, uh, there were some mean, mean hidden crates. I've been, uh, I've been pointing out to Darian and members of the Discord as I go through, as I was going through and getting all the gems from the previous stream's levels. Crash 1 or 2 had a, had a couple of them in a level here and there. This game, it's like every single level, it feels like. We're pretty close to it. Oh. That was, uh, they, they wanted me to do that. That was a trap. Putting the, uh, the di I didn't realize it was green. Everything's tinted green. I can't tell. there to get that. Alright. There we go. Come on. Oh, apparently those! Man! I, all the explosives are gone and I still kill myself. Those uh, golden Wumpa crates are uh, their lives in the non- Easy baby streamer mode version of the game. Which I kind of anticipated. I figured that's probably what they were swapped out for. That's a dead one. Get up. 
Get up there. You made that look easy. Oh, here's something I, uh, I think I mentioned in one of the Paperball streams after the first Crash 4 stream. I found another type of collectible in this game. One, one more in the long list this game has. That little, uh, skull fella down there. So that is an insanely perfect relic. That is basically the Crash Bandicoot 1 achievement. You have to get every crate in a level without dying in order to get that on a level. So those can be a pain. Testing, testing, one, two, test, hello, feeble subject. It is I, Dr. Nitrous Brio, your future master. <laughs> I wonder if they're still going with the lore tidbit that Brio is the inventor of the Evolvo Ray. And Cortex more or less stole it from him. Or at least stole the credit. This is Crash 2 music. Oh, this is the Ice World music. There's a specific instrument that Crash 2 liked to use a lot. I don't know exactly what to call it. Maybe it's just like a certain type of synthesizer. Precision. Surgical. Whoops! I'm fine. We're good. No trouble here. Hmm. Well, can I do this without setting off that TNT? I can. This is uh, a little bit tricky. One shot. Got it. Oh, that's it. Old hard crash flashbacks. Yes. Crashbacks? Atrio, are you running my experiment? Get out of here! Say nothing of our plan. Will this work? Oh good, that doesn't blow them up. Ah! I died with the funny number. I guess I started with the funny number. I had 215 crates for just a bonus level. I guess these are crate-centric bonus levels, so sure, that makes sense. If the whole game... If Crash Maker were just this, I think it would get old fairly quickly, but... There's potential. Hmm. Uh-oh. Can I still get over there okay? Wait, no, I just needed stuff down there, I think. You're hiding. You're kind of a dick crate. I saw you, though. It's all right on these levels, because this this is, like, more or less one screen. It's all one room, at least. 
also is in a spot that I could always get to. And the worst are dick crates that are hidden in places that you can't get back to. Like the, like the one in the bonus room. That was an awful place for a hidden crate to be. And you could tell you were missing a crate. It told you you didn't have all the crates in the bonus room, but... You needed a crate to bounce up to it in Crash 2, so if you already broke that crate, too bad, didn't matter. The skin's name is Mother Clucker. Rio, where did he get that chicken suit? I didn't buy that for him! Was a little more Ganondorf than Cortex. Oh boy. Okay. Uh. I think I'm gonna go up this side. I seem to be developing a connection with the subject. A fatherly. Man! Did I hit the wrong button? Uh, Andrew, the final draw. What is this music? I, see, these levels, I'm all now just having fun trying to place the music. I think it's Crash 1. Like Cortex Castle music. There we go. Imagine if they just kept the Crash 1 voice for Cortex. Back when every every character in the game was voiced by one guy, and they all sounded very similar. I remember that guy who voiced all of them in the in Crash 1. I think he continued to voice some of the characters for a while. Like, he continued to be Enbrio in Crash 2. Or maybe he was the Engine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mother Clucker. Do I want to set that off? I don't know if I do. That'll set everything off, if I do. I guess I need to, I need to set everything off. I'm just gonna have to book it. Cluck it. <laughs> you do the three crates in close proximity to Nitros, not once, but twice. Three times, actually, at least, that we've seen. I'll just, again, I don't need Wumpas. I'm not playing on a mode with lives. <sighs> oh, do I need to, I might need to go through there. Maybe not. Maybe the nitros will land on the lower ones and detonate them. Oh, there's a crate there. Okay. Ah! Screw it. 
I don't need the Wumpas. I'm not gonna bother with them. Who needs them? Get rid of them. Just saying, what do, uh, what do bandicoots do for nature? Big ol' waste of space. Leave them about and... Some scientists use them to take over the world. I do a terrible call. That won't stop me from trying. Brennan O'Brien. That was his name. Continue to voice Crash all the way up through Wrath of Cortex. Okay. He, he, he was the guy. He was the woe. They lost touch with him. He also he voiced like everyone in Crash One. He was Cortex, he was Brio. I wonder why they replaced him though. If they lost touch with him, or, uh... <sighs> it's, it's just, it's a weird decision to replace the guy who's, like, the voice. Maybe he just didn't want to do it anymore. Maybe he was sick of just having nothing but Crash on his resume. Twice now. Oh, I did it twice. All right. And I stop. Yeah. Open in the stream strong. I don't know how long ago today. I was uh, feeling kind of tired today. I'm counting on Crash to restore my energy. Coffee and Crash. I didn't do any, uh, I didn't do any bus driving. I did a little, barely bus driving. I went only to find out the one kid I had was not there, so I didn't actually transport anyone. But, uh, I found out that, uh, schools will be resuming more fully next week. And I will be going back to a, uh, 5, 5 in the morning schedule. So, I'm, I'm a little sad about that. Not looking forward to next week. these levels. These were a good addition. I like that this game is mostly platforming. Almost entirely platforming. I don't know if other people felt the same way about Crash 3 that I did, but I'm glad it's not similar to that. Uh, Tana level. Now, I didn't do this because we didn't do it on the previous stream, so I'm going to do it now. I am blind to the potion commotion. These levels can be very annoying with the, the crates because they hide stuff out in the distance where you have to really look for it. 
to the shoot with your uh, your hook on. shot. Minus the kaiju tanuki. A pawn. She's talking about kaiju and tanuki, but she said nippon. Did not get off in time. That's a little bit safer. Oh, okay. I'm good. We're fine. I am almost certainly not going to clean out this level without a guide. There have been some levels I found everything on without a guide. Most of them I've had to look at least something up, though, in order to 100% them. Shut up, Tana! I, I take back the nice things I said about this this redesign on the previous stream. I don't like her anymore. It looks so much better. Someone did a mod of Tana giving the original hairstyle while keeping the blue highlights. Oh yeah? This could have been a uh, this could have been a skin in uh, Crash Nitro Field if they so chose. Then again, given what they did with Rilla Roo, they probably would have made this a new a new character completely. Alternate Tana or something. Get a hook shot before you land, that's the secret. <laughs> I think you might lose your double jump once you hook shot, too. And I haven't gotten a checkpoint yet. And this is just my basic run for, through the level. Eventually, off-stream, I'm gonna have to do all of this in one try while getting every crate. And then, we'll, then we'll get the time trials. Oh boy, those are gonna be fun. I hope they're kind of forgiving. Given the length of these levels. Usually, the really long levels in the original trilogy were not too bad. I didn't realize that was a uh, snapper one. Like, those levels would be ones that... They realized there was a lot of potential for imperfections. And so they would be a little bit, a uh, little bit more lenient on the on the time, time re times required. On the plus side, the platforming on ta Tana levels tends to be a little bit simpler because she doesn't have the uh, slide jump to worry about. Almost missed you. Uh... Oh, I see. I see it! Just had to check. Oh. I don't know why I thought I was safe there.
Well, if I do get all the crates, I'll at least know that I found- I know where all of them are. They're, they're gonna do this repeatedly. This is a theme. He's doing the double jumps into a surprise grapple. That was odd. What happened to the TNT crate? It just... Did I fling that enemy I just hookshot it into it? Uh, Darian, what crash games do you have? I think, I think I know you have the Insane Trilogy on PS4, right? Oh, I also want to unlock, uh, I want to unlock Spyro in, uh, Nitro Fuel. One kind of neat thing about it is that, uh, once again, failed to react. The characters all have their own stats natively, but you can just choose, choose to, uh, override that and give the characters whatever stats you want from a, a set of, like, four presets. Which defeats the purpose of, like, different... It, it, different characters ultimately then don't have different stats. But that also means you can play whoever you want to play, just because you like the character and not have to worry about stats. Which, between the two, I prefer. I like being able to play as whoever I want to. I need to learn his, uh, I need to learn Embryo's, like, uh, chemical magic. Because he doesn't just, like, bulk himself up. He does, like, ninjutsu. He vanishes with potions. I want to see that. I want to see a potion ninja. Naruto didn't have one of those. That. Wow, I got some air there. Nothing over there. Oh, okay. The Tana levels, partway through, split into a more difficult version of a Crash and Coco level that you already played. It's an interesting way they chose to do this. Apparently, this is the uh, optimal way to use the, the dark spin mask. You slide jump spin, all or for uh, momentum, and then you get another jump. You get the double jump. That's what I've always liked about you. <gasps> I'm fine. I, did, I, I wasn't really paying attention to the, like, off ledges and things. I hope I didn't miss anything. Closest was maybe Orochimaru as a scientist. Yeah! Would've been cool to see that explored a little more. Like a full-on, no, ninjutsu magic isn't the way, it's science is the answer! Like he was a he was a, nin, a scientist, but he was a ninjutsu scientist. Like his end game was always looking for new ninjutsu to use.
He was also a good potential villain in the ninja series because nothing he fucking did was in any way ninja-like. Not that Naruto ninjas are already very ninja-like. They're very out in the open, like, fist punch, resolve things with conflicts in the way they operate. But Orochimaru especially, just everything he did was completely out in the open, unabashed. He had no stealth whatsoever. I don't think that was intentional. I don't think it was supposed to make a statement like uh, he was the enemy of ninjas because he rejected being a ninja. I think it was incidental. But it would have been funny to see the, the author, like, roll with that more. To see the bad guy in a ninja series be just the, this brazen barbarian dude. Who doesn't care about stealth at all. what you wish. Uh-oh. Okay, where are we? What are we doing? Oh, the second half of Shippuden and everything was about kaiju. Fine, we got this. Maybe. If we can make it back now. Can we make it back now? Did there need to be machine guns in the game, though? I mean, even if they're magical chi machine guns, but still. Double check about me, just in case. This is still the Tana level, we're on the same level. Oh, hello. There's a lot of stuff on this island. Okay. That's taken care of. Now, now I got the time I need to take care of this stuff. Camera is not mobile enough to help me.
All right. So far, so good. Now we just need to get a little farther before we can get to the end of this level and find out we were missing one box. As is tradition in Crash Bandicoot. It's a ritual. Alright, here we go. Oh boy. Nope, going back. Retreat! Maybe the slide jumping is uh, not very good here. These jumps are made for non-sliding in mind. Can I do it? Pretty please? Three, three missed. Gonna be looking that up later. And then, of course, I would have to do that level again. With everything being mostly the same, except the inverse levels have uh, the hidden gems in different spots. That and the and the aesthetic is the only difference for inverse, and they're mirrored. All right, let's try uh, let, let's try new 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 world. Mosquito Marsh a few days ago. So we're going from like 1400 B A A D to a few days ago. We got Mardi Gras crash. Got to change skins. I gotta try a different crash. Let's be Big Horn. Big Horn energy. Look how big my horn is. It is. It's Mardi Gras. We're going to. Uh, we're going to Nolens. Is this before or after Rodney Mullen raised the dead here? It, it looks like after. Doing a happy dance? Good for you, Coco. There's crocodiles. Definitely Nolans. This is the very much Sly Cooper vibes. We got we got some stanky city jazz. This is a very new setting for Crash Bandicoot. Modern day city. It's kind of weird to imagine cities full of people in Crash Bandicoot verse. Because we don't see a lot of humans outside of like uh, Cortex and company. Who could that be? There's ghosts, jazz musicians. What toxic gases are spewing from the roofs of Nolan residents? There's an <laughs> Mardi Gras cubes. What is this motif? What is this setting? He's mad when I stand on his head. Slightly mad. He's kind of peeved. He went from being scared to slightly annoyed. This this doesn't look like it belongs in Crash. It looks like it belongs in Rayman. Also, he doesn't do anything. He just kind of remains annoyed as long as you stand on his head. 
don't know what that is. Is that Skylanders thing? Where's where's the Bubsy float? You're missing the best character. Oh. And they express pain if dynamite blows up near them. I think that's what happened. Bastard rat. It is. It's the race of sentient cubes from Emperor's New Groove. The ones that we fucking murdered. We murdered a father and his children. And then the children came back as ghosts to haunt us. Alright, new enemies. What are these? It's, uh, it, it's Balan. From, from Balan Failure World. There he is. Look, look at he go. Is that one of the trumpets from Rayman? He want I, I think he wants me to get inside him. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Okay. Well, that was a first. What happens in New Orleans stays in New Orleans. There's a fake crash plot. I, I gotta show this to Jack later. I wanna see how he reacts to the fact that there's a Mardi Gras stage in a Crash Bandicoot game. Hello. Can I? Okay, good. I can't kill them. Uh, I can kill you. These are big enemies, but they go down easy. It's Mr. Bones. Maybe that's Doctor Bones. He's having such a good time. And then I come along and jump on his head, and he's just he's just angry. He's having a bad time. I'm ruining his day. He's gonna be thinking about that tonight when he goes to bed in his motel, like, man, today was great. Except for that one asshole who jumped on my head for no reason. Man, I'm still thinking about that. there for anything. Doesn't look like it. Okay, we got a phase in and out section coming up. Bonnie the lowly, I think. I think I just decapitated myself. Oh, this section has a pure afloat. Oh, it's pure in a cart from the game I was just playing. Not on stream, but. Ooh, 
I want to set these off? That, wait, that did go off, right? Okay, I guess the phased out one just never goes off. Then I die. I could just I could just say screw it. I could just try to get through the level as quickly as possible. I don't know, man. Maybe I'll get a gem on one of these. That that'd be cool, right? One gem that ultimately won't matter because I'm gonna have to go back and get them all eventually anyway. Be cool though. I will say this would not be fun to watch if I were doing 100% on stream. It would be a lot of me looking stuff up on YouTube, just going very systematically through a level, stopping in intervals to make sure I get every single little thing. And then after that, once I know where all the crates are, I just have to do it over and over and over again until I get it in one try. That's what's been happening, is I just, I keep doing the level. I have to do it several times over to make sure I get all the other gems. Just like the less than three lives. And then eventually I just, I know it inside and out, and I can get the, uh, insanely perfect thing. That's the, often the last thing I get. Boy, this, uh, this bonus stage is kicking my ass. No! Well, actually, I think that's fine. That's not fine. I'm gonna spend all this time on this. I'm gonna make sure I get every crate in the bonus round. Just to be missing a crate at the end of the level. That's how it goes. level seems to, the music seems to have calmed down for the, for the bonus section of the level. You'd think it'd be the opposite. This would be the most lively part. I know, I know the undersides kill you on contact. It's just a matter of not, uh, of just getting the, the bounce synchronized just right so I can get on top of them and not under them. be hard being friends when you're on different planes of existence. Also, is that guy spitting on me? He's like, he's spewing confetti from his mouth. Don't do that. Wait, there's another hidden gem? I, okay. No, that's just the normal hidden gem. It was the tunnel level I got the hidden gem on. Well, that wasn't hidden at all. That was right blatantly obvious.
I would, uh, I'd, I'd show Saucy that clip of the, uh, Balin Wonderworld comment, but, uh, I don't think she'd appreciate it. She seems to think people are being too hard on the game. Oh, well, this makes it easier. But how'd I get that? What happened? go I tried to jump up to the platform again just because I don't know I wanted to sit just stand there for a second and the game would didn't wasn't having it I think maybe there was an invisible ceiling there guy's teeth look kind of unsettling when they're phased out. Because you can, like, you can see them through their head models. In fact, you can see all the features inside their mouths. It's like, uh... I guess like any other game when you clip inside something's face. Straight down this time, like they want me to. I gotta be paranoid, I gotta check up there. check while I'm inside Cannon Hat Man. Oh, we grinding. Over 200 crates for this. Oh. I just, I just saw the one underside, the one underneath. Here we go. All right, 2D grinding section. I just, I gotta keep my eyes open. That's all I gotta do. Oh boy. We straight now. I liked side view better. I could see things better. So are we gonna go from this to just like full on marsh? Like Donkey Kong Country 2? short rail section. Oh, 
Ah! His stupid spinny hat got me. You think when we get to the end of this level, we're gonna see the kid from Coco? Missed one. He's gonna be hanging out with uh, the bad guy from Princess and the Frog. Oh, I mashed it. Shouldn't have mashed it. Ba the band just appears. Have they been following us off camera this entire time? It's just for this final part of the level, they show up behind the camera so that we can see them playing. Ah! I don't even get the chance to choose to reset. Wow, you're locked into the ending at that point. And I still missed two crates somewhere. What are you talking? I just... I, yeah, yes, I'm going to make a Coco reference. She was right there. I, she was at the end of the level. And now she's here on the map screen. I'm cooking. Do classic Coco. We didn't do that one. I remember Wrath of Cortex when all the regular bosses were downgraded to being level obstacles? They would just hang out on levels. Shoot stuff at you. You couldn't kill them. They weren't really much of a threat to you. I guess it was mostly the ball levels they did that on. They were just scattered about, trying to hit Crash as he rode around in his marble. Oh, Crocky, I'm starved! Wait, is that... Roadkill Pie? Sluggy yeah. centipede gumbo! He's, he's like a hillbilly. He's back tacos with guanamole! Well now, what have we got here? Either that vile swill Papa Batfield cooks up in his filthy outhouse. Come on down, that Dingo's Diner. Food served at Dingo's Diner may not meet the legal definition of food. Consume at your own risk. Side effects of dining at Dingo's Diner may include fatigue, increased body odor, risk-seeking behavior, thinking too much about your uncle, increased hunger, alienation from friends and family, skin irritation, ennui, leaky orifices, oozing orifices, flowing orifices. Oh, you fucking stay out of my diner! I mean, he was never an amazingly deep character to begin with, but now he's just Fuzzy Lumpkins. We oh, okay. I am the Dingo Dial. I have... Float? Hey, Squidward, you should try playing with this here Reef Blower. Lots of fun! He has hover, he has spin. He has hover, he has vacuum. He can suck. <laughs> Jump on a TNT crate. What am I? A bandicoot? It, it is something, all right. Do I have to fight the wildlife? What, what are these demon fellas doing here?
They, they look like Skylanders enemies. Or I guess like, uh, they kind of look like, uh, Lurkers from Jack and Daxter 1. Whoa. Can you say that? I thought this was a kid's game. No? Well, can I jump on him? I don't wanna- I don't wanna try to jump on him just to learn that I can't. I can't really- I don't think I can bring a TNT crate across the gap, so... Well, I guess it's not- it's a non-issue. Who cares? Wasn't, uh... Wasn't a playable Cortex advertised as a selling point for this game? I feel like I'm suddenly remembering that. It's not something I'm, I'm very partial to. Like, I don't really care about playing as Cortex, but I think that's in this game. Tablecloths myself. Wait, is that Aku Aku? Why is he helping Dinga Dial? Is this 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 is after Crash Bash in Canon? Like after having Dinga Dial and Tiny on their team, they realized. They're not such bad guys. Dingo's gonna be a member of the team now. He's gonna be on uh, Team Good. He just, he hangs out in his swamp all day, and then sometimes if we need him, we, uh, you know, burn down his restaurant. Aku Aku, I believe, still... Greg Eagles? Is that the guy's name? Uh, Grim. From, uh, Grim Adventures. And also, apparently, the DARPA chief in, uh, Metal Gear. I learned that was, uh, same guy recently. It's easy to forget about He seems like such an incidental character in Metal Gear 1. The DARPA chief. He's just kind of a dude who's there. He gets, like, one or two cutscenes. But then, like, every other Metal Gear character, he plays, like, this big, important role that... He's actually a long-time character. He was a character in Metal Gear 3. Uka Uka sounds very wrong in uh, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. I don't like the new Uka Uka voice. I don't know if they went with that voice in this game or not. Given that, you know, that came out for this. That's all right. I can do that. Maybe. Maybe not. 
I don't know, I liked the mark I liked the marsh better when it had uh, Phil Collins music. Okay, I just learned I can in fact jump on them. Good to know. Nice. He's not a chore to play as. I don't mind playing as Dingo Dial. This I this I like better than like uh, the Spyro Three because these characters all have at least some similarity to uh, the way Crash and Coco play. They're different enough to have their own kind of unique level gimmicks. As opposed to Spyro 3, all the characters were wildly different from one another. Which sounds cool, until you realize they were all kind of... I don't necessarily want to say rushed, but... It's kind of hard to give them the time they need if they're going to have such wildly different playstyles. Because at that point, you're making, like, four different games, almost. But it would be really, really hard to have all of the playable characters in Spyro 3 as fully fleshed out and as fun to play as, you know, the main one, Spyro, the one you do for most of the game. Where is the... I never found the thing that I need to hit. I need to find the, uh, the exclamation crate. Oh, is it John DiMaggio? What? Well, there's an invisible wall there? I got trapped outside the conveyor belt. I couldn't go on top of it because a wall prevented me from doing so. Ah! Well, that's how we know Dingo's reformed. He's, he, he goes to heaven when he dies. Truly, he's a, he's a member of the good guys now. Okay, there's my ammo. Do I blow this thing up? Is that, that seems like a good idea. Let's cause property damage. Yep. That is exactly what I was supposed to do. I'm just- someone burned down my diner and I don't know who, so I'm taking it out on the entirety of the swamp ecosystem. Everyone who lives in the swamp is going to pay for the one critter who burned down my diner. I would attempt a Fuzzy Lumpkin's voice, but I'm not confident. I, ju I just blew myself up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that crocodile. You know what? I'm a better crocodile because I am part dingo. Screw those other crocodiles. Logically, I should be able to jump into the river and beat them in a fight. That was the point of, of the weapon of the, the animal mixing genes, right? To make better animals? I should be the better animal.
once again, I'll comment on how, despite the entirety of this series taking place in Australia and the surrounding areas, or Oceania, Dingadile is decidedly the only extremely Australian character. And yet he lives here in this Louisiana swamp? I don't know, all rednecks are the same. Doesn't matter where they're from. Who is that? It's just a bunch of imps living in this swamp. This place is all skeletons and weird little imps. Drop it. There we go. It still has to go off in the swamp water. How long is this stage? 400 crates, excuse me? Game disgusts me. Oh, well, there goes my ammo. Do I need to blow that up? Is there some. Do I get crates for that? I feel like I might get something for that. But I think I already found the hidden gem, so. Quite a ways from complete. <laughs> How do you like them, Wumpus? Did I really miss that many? I must have missed some, like, like a whole area or something. Oh well. I, I, I want, I want Mardi Gras cocoa. I guess next stream. Okay, so... This was a few days ago. This is both the introduction to Dingo's place in the story, but also Crash and Coco were here celebrating Mardi Gras. This was happen happening parallel to one another. Oh boy. We unlocked Dingo Dial timelines. Help Dingo Dial find a way home. You might even run into Crash and Coco along the way. How many of those are there? Maybe there's only one alternate character level per Oh no, this is looking like there's probably more than one. That little island down there is going to be a bonus level. I mentioned I think Cortex is playable, so... Maybe it'll be like every other world. This one's Tana and Dingadile. Oh, Tana's here. Well, Tana was introduced here. Tana. Looks like there could be something up on that waterfall there. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do it. I'm, I'm gonna go do the other Dingo Dial level. Just so I can do it on stream. Let's see how this. Let's continue the Dingo Dial adventure. Thar he blows. 
doesn't matter what skin I choose. Well, no, I will presumably switch to Crasher Coco halfway through if it's anything like the Tauna levels. Now, how many crates are going to be in this? Oh, boy. I should play- I should try, uh, Smiles and Awesome Knots again. Actually, I wonder how- uh, Got a feeling I'm not in the bar, you know, Ma. I wonder how influenced by Dingo Dial Smiles was. Cause he's the Australian crocodile dude. Who uses a flamethrower. I should have just, uh, I should have used those as ammo. I don't know why I jumped on them. I'm still in crash mode. He doesn't have, uh, he doesn't have any special circle move. I, I know they wanted me to use the TNT to blow up this whole pile at once. But bouncing's fun! Wee That was fun. Tana has the has the slam. I guess, I guess technically he spins in the opposite direction, whatever that's worth. I think. Maybe it's just random which direction he spins, because I'm I'm pressing the same button over and over. I think it's just random. That didn't hurt me. I don't know how, but I'm glad. I see you. I thought you could hide, but I see you. Oh, I can kill them. Never killed those those uh, amazing balanced sword rats on a level before. You smell good enough to eat. <laughs> imagine the set. Uh, imagine the setting in a, in a context that's not Crash Bandicoot. Imagine the setting in a context that's not Crash Bandicoot. You just you have a bunch of pirates, like cutthroats. Yar, there there be booty out there. And they're they're on they're on in a town, maybe they're on their ship, they're moored. And some redneck Australian outback dude with a flamethrower shows up and just starts trashing their ship. You ever gonna give Sonic 06 another go? Yes, it's we're we're playing through the entire game. We did two streams of it, and it's contingent on uh, when all three, me and Jack and Saucy, have a day free that we can do the stream together. So Sonic 06 is going to be ongoing inconsistently for quite a while. Probably going to be several months before we get through the whole game. Ah! Wow, I was zero deaths up to that point. Yeah. 
Actually, that redneck trashing a pirate ship scenario I mentioned just sound it sounds like something out of a out of a role-playing session. Like a tabletop. Still in need of Wumpa fruit. I haven't even gotten the first threshold for the gems. Very little of this level is is a dingo dial, I guess. I think I'm coming up on the end of it, though. As far as I remember, it's just like uh, one more room after this. Now, how's Cortex going to fit into all this? I guess Entrophy is probably the like the big bad. Nope. Don't want to touch Davy Jones. And there's also that weird, like, uh, female entropy question mark that was shown in promotional material. I just remembered her. And we haven't seen her in this game yet. I'm waiting for Entropy to accidentally awaken a time goddess or whatever weird plot this game is going to have. Oh boy, did I just make a mistake? That was a mistake. Dingo Dial is voiced by Fred Tadaskior, who voices Kakuzu in Naruto. I would have thought he'd voice the, uh, the one tail. Weirder than I than I think. I already think it's pretty weird. I'm expecting weird. If it's any weirder than that, it's gonna end up like uh, like Aqua Teen Hunger Force or something. Are the twins gonna come back? I did. I tried my best to. Uh, oh. I just go back on this one. This one's right here. I tried my best to avoid spoilers, but uh, I did look at. I accidentally glanced ahead at some world names when looking up stuff for the previous levels. I saw one of the levels to come was, I think it said the Nth Dimension. Which, if I remember right, is the place that the twins were in uh, Twin Sanity. It's been a while, and I don't particularly care to remember that game a whole lot anyway, so... Maybe I'm wrong. Would be a neat love letter, though, because the game does have its fans. Oh boy, what did I just activate? I activated something. They just, they added a bunch of fire and TNT everywhere in this level. I 
I guess that's where all the Wumpas come from, is all the fire crates. Whoop! I'm fine. We're good. Didn't fall. We are all safe here. Safe. There was a One Piece character who was like uh, an octopus wielding eight swords. This is just, these enemies are just Davy Jones mixed with that guy. There are a couple more rooms than I remembered at the end of this level. I'm almost to my Wumpa quota, so maybe that, maybe hitting that guy like that won't matter. Ah! Slipped. Gives me a second chance, I guess. Now I can do that. He can live. I'll ignore that guy. How'd we do? I want to get my Wumpa. One single crate. Oh, could be anywhere. Maybe it's in here. No, it's not in there. Again, doesn't really matter because I'm still going to have to do every crate in one life eventually anyway, so... It could have at least got Pirate Coco, though. We would have gotten a skin from that. I'm gonna make that the thumbnail. That, that one... That one specifically. One single crate missing. We haven't found it. We haven't seen any new, any new flashback takes tapes. There's none of these levels have had them. Oh no, this one did. I guess I just didn't see it, or I had already died by that point. Well, no, I still didn't see it. Let me just run it by you. <laughs> Get it? What what is that? That's like uh, that's Red Dead Redemption Two train conductor crash. Look at that motherfucker. I want that skin. I'm not gonna get it, but I want it. Sure. Do rocket head crash. There aren't gonna be there aren't gonna be enough levels in this game to see all the skins. I, I can switch during uh doing like time trials. Paper balls done, so uh, my game options now are this uh, hamster ball. I was gonna do, I guess, if I wanted to do the online stream of uh, Nitro Fuel, I'd always do that. I play the guitar, I hear this. This is boulder chase music. 
They don't play music like this on a level unless something's gonna be chasing me. We got a new mask? What, what is this? Countdown outlines. Only fill for a limited time. Do I get multiple shots? I do. Okay. Odd mechanic, but I'll take it. Thought maybe that'd be like the this hidden area. Crash 2. Imagine putting crates up here. You can walk up here, so they probably thought about it. This is pretty... You know what? If the regular hidden gem isn't up here, I'm gonna guess the inverse hidden gem is up here. Because you can go, you can come up here. Therefore, something has to be up there. How far does this go? Color gem? Oh, so they're just hanging out. Just being in places to collect somewhere. So those are things that I'm gonna have to look up. Maybe I've already, uh, maybe I've already been to the levels that have the red and green gems, and I just didn't find them because I wasn't looking for them. I mean, I'm always looking, but... These, uh, these Louisiana canals are fierce. They don't mess around. <gasps> Whoops! Now let me in. I need through. I need the crate. There's another one. Ah! Still entertaining some naive hope that maybe I'll get all the boxes on this level. I gotta time it for when that stupid thing's open. Like this! Wait, uh huh? Where'd it go? I hit the thing! And then I'm gonna have to come back here from up there? I take- I take it back. I- I don't approve of these timed boxes. I don't like them at all. Let me in. Give me the box! Give me the box! Starting from the beginning of the level again. And it's still gonna count me as having one death. I could just exit the level and re enter now, and I would have zero deaths. And all it would cost me is time. That's annoying, and I don't wanna do that. It's a game. How come you don't just let me have zero deaths? Because I'm at the start of the level. You, you can do that. I give permission. game is rude. That's one way to describe it. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that works. I was going to get on it anyway, I guess. Get. Ah! Looking forward to unlocking the metal crate in in Nitro Kart. How c I'm so confused the way these activate. 
Like, I got there, and for some reason, those ones just weren't on. Now they're on. Alright, I'll wait for them to run out. Oh, they're not on a uniform timer. That's potentially problematic. I gotta wait for all of them... Like, I gotta wait a long time between hits just to make sure they've all reset. They're not guaranteed to do that on their own. I don't want to hit those. I need those. Oh boy. a noise I'd never heard myself make before. I wanted to do all that before the checkpoint so that I wouldn't, like, die in a later section and then have to do it all again. for a second. No, Mandy can't smile! You're messing with the natural order! I remember that crow. That was a crow. I think. It was a, maybe it was a raven. Hence the Edgar Allan Poe-esque attire. I don't, I don't know. Also, ravens can speak, so probably a raven. Stupid bombs! I think- I think I'm hitting my fun limit. I think I've had too much fun this stream. I, just, I can't take any more fun. And the Wumpa Bazooka would be lovely so I could just, like, shoot it from the safe platform and not have to go across the wall. I did get the checkpoint this time, just in case. Good thing I did. Of course, now I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna die at some point ahead in the level, and I'm gonna have to do it all again. As foretold in the prophecy. There's just no winning. No matter how you do it, you're gonna, you're gonna have a bad time. Why are there a bunch of gears in the walls of this presumably still New Orleans canal? Is New Orleans even known for having canals? Is, is this an established setting that they're drawing inspiration from? Or is this just, hey, we don't want to do more marsh, even though the jet board would be perfectly suited to a marsh level. It's okay, actually, I, I like New Orleans. I, I like the city setting better than, uh, better than more marsh anyway. Each of these levels have kind of had their own thing going. 
But yeah, it's all technically the Marsh City place, but... Like, this, this has the whole stone canal motif going on. Dingo Dial's level had the, the down-home marsh. Or like this for the whole level. And then the original, the, the first level was just all Mardi Gras party. I appreciate that it's trying to be interesting from level to level. Oh, this isn't New Orleans. This is Venice. I see. That's why it's a canal. Well, that makes sense. Well, no. If this is the future of Venice, it would be sunken. Isn't that the thing? Isn't Venice sinking? I guess technically everything on... Uh, every Everything near sea level, or near the sea, is sinking right now. Gotta work on those emissions. Greenhouse gases, man. <laughs> I went to, uh... I, I guess this counts as mildly political for a brief moment, but uh, I went to... I got Chinese for lunch today. And, uh... The guy at the restaurant was talking to, me, talking to me about the virus. I told him that the schools were going back more fully, but next week he's like, Amer Amer you Americans, you crazy! Yeah, yeah, I kind of agree. I just thought, I, I thought it was funny. I'll have multiple shots at this, so I can do... Maybe I won't have multiple shots, actually. I just realized I only have a... I only have one chance to hit that and have the TNT countdown timer. Oh, that's fine. Those are just metal crates. We're barrel platforming. This is how they practice for deadli deadliest um, American ninja warrior in Louisiana. They just they stick a bunch of barrels floating in the water and platform on those. Gotta check above everything. All right, we got our first threshold. Where, where's Louise? Is she going to appear again? This seems like the place that that weird tentacle monster would be. I'm looking to see if I am expected to jump on these boxes in some weird way. Oh, we have a current now. That's new. I haven't been chased by anything this level, despite the, the music. Okay. I like this. This is new territory for Crash. Kind of surprised it hasn't been done yet. This river current thing, it makes sense. This goes, this is a, a good idea to add to a jet board level. Thought I destroyed the ramp for a second there. again. Ah, uh, okay. I had a mask. I'm fine. Well, Crash is really the perfect candidate for Mardi Gras. He, he has his mask already. He's been prepared for it for years. Oh, come on. 
One more go. We just have a, we have a Mardi Gras celebration of video game characters between, who do we have? We have Crash, obviously. We have uh, Majora's Mask Link, has lots of masks. Are there any other video game characters known for masks? There's that one bad guy from uh, Bloodstained. He can come, right? Isn't that isn't that Balan Wonderlands thing? Doesn't isn't that masks are like the costumes and power-ups? I don't know anything about that game. I know very little about that game. I was gonna break those crates. Uh, something happened, I guess. Is that? That's him. That's the guy. There's Dingo. He made it home. Look, he's got his diner boat. We've had a complete character arc within this entire this stream. Oh no, never mind. That's not Dingo. That's some some jerk stole his diner boat. What are you doing? Oh, I have to help him. He has nothing on the boat with which to destroy the TNT. At least he's a safe driver. Look, he'll even wait for me while I go doing this, go do this stuff. Vega from Street Fighter, there's one. Oh, there's nothing up there? Why do you make it a bouncy box? Maybe he didn't steal the diner boat. Maybe, maybe he's the help. Maybe he's Dingo Dial's part-time worker. Or like a like a sibling. Come back. I need you. I, I take it back. He's a jerk. I don't care if he's a safe driver. check on top of all of these things. Just in case there could be something up there. But I don't have time to do that. Because the boat is moving too damn fast! At least so far, there has not been anything up there. They've had the decency not to put something stupid like a hidden gem or a colored gem up that high. Not in a section where you only have one chance to check. They would though, I would not put that past them for a second. I still have to keep checking. Very generous hitbox these fruit have. Did you see that? It was way over Crash's head and it still picked him up anyway. Just one life each check. 
That's what you gotta do in this game. Because they're mean. They're rude game devs. He even dresses like Fuzzy. L look at that dingo dial on the... I assume that's supposed to be dingo. On the side of the boat. He's just a one-color version of himself with the Fuzzy Lumpkin overalls. That was another one of the, the, the weird final two season episodes of Powerpuff Girls. Actually, the, both of the fuzzy episodes were super weird. There was one where uh, the professor decided to... Oh, there's a flashback tape. The professor decided to uh, study fuzzy. Like, as if he was wildlife. And I think it culminated in... The professor being mistaken for a female fuzzy and fuzzy marrying him. And then there was a later one where they went on like a camping trip together. And fuzzy and his family were just a bunch of obnoxious assholes. We just, we don't talk about the wedding thing, that never happened. Another boat coming. Oh, and there were implied sex jokes as well, which made it extra weird. We can't play it. We can't play a redneck bayou level without at least briefly discussing that Powerpuff episode where Fuzzy Lumpkins almost fucked Professor Utonium. Hey, wasn't that good times? At least nobody twerked. I could just ignore it. I could say, you know what, I'm not gonna get every every box in this level anyway. But I know as soon as I do that, this is gonna be the level where I did find them all. And then that one box that I saw, that I know I miss, is gonna be the one missing from the total. And I'm gonna be like, man, I could have had that! Let me in! Jerk. Man, all I do for this guy, I'm clearing dynamite for him so he can go on his way. He doesn't care. As soon as I'm no longer useful to him, he just lets me die. might be, uh, if I keep going back to do old levels. Or, uh, levels that I'm un unlocking in the, in the uh, old worlds, like the Dingo Dial ones. This might end up being, like, a one-world-a-game, one-world-a-stream game. One 
We're fine. We're good. There better not have been anything above that. Be a little mad if there was something above that. The one that I didn't check. Okay, I can't platform from here. Always gotta check first. Now now we going downriver. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, I can't go back up! Alright. So this is a one-shot-and-done section. I see what we're doing. Nope. Still need those. Ah! It's like the rail sections, but worse, because you have worse control over the jet board. Okay, you know what? I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna start going against the current immediately. That seems like the thing to do here. Not for speedruns, but for collections. If I want to get all the crates, then that's what I gotta do. Maybe. Maybe it's still a bad idea. Maybe I just don't have time to do it immediately. Yeah, I can, like, yeah, I can drift. I get a Tokyo drift so that I start facing backwards. It's just like the river section in a way out. The trick is to do it backwards. Throw all your shit. You just got one. That guy, that dude's got a gun. Like a gun gun. There's a slightly cartoony gun, granted, but... Ah! Okay. The current is slight enough here that I can readjust, at least. Crash is having fun. I'm happy for him. That's fake crash. What are you doing? I, ki I kind of wanted to, like, bonk him. I wanted to land my jet board on him. Are there fake crash levels? What, what are his special powers? He's doing, like, a weird fake version of the crash dance. I want to get a front view of the dance, and then I'll, then I'll leave. This is important. This is the opposite of cool but useless. This is lame but effective. Gotta drift. Go with the flow. Go on. There we go. How do we how how do we do? Wow, I was right. If I hadn't gotten that one crate, if I just said screw it, I'm not gonna get them all anyway. I would have been missing exactly that one crate. I found the color gem. I didn't find the regular hidden gem. What, what time is it? Oh, goodness. I ought to know. Crash! Coco! Come on, give all Kapuna a kiss, eh? <laughs> Don't look at me like I broke wind at a wedding. I'm time. I see everything. 
and I okay. everything. There's some very unexpected developments in your future. Your very unexpected, near you future. Say. Shocking events that will change the course of your life. Yeah, just gonna stop you there before you tell us how we all die. Well, if you'd rather not know about the giant mask-eating monster from beyond the stars, Leading that out. is your choice. <laughs> I wonder who voices her. The best old ladies are voiced by, uh, oh, what's her name? Oh, I'm drawing a blank. She was the old wise woman in Nausicaa, is the actress I'm thinking of. No dillo dallying. This is gonna bug me now. I can't remember who it is. Well, I'll do I'll do Dingo's level, and then I'll stop. I figured this wouldn't be a super. Uh, this wouldn't be as long as the first crash stream. But I want to catch up at least on this world's levels. Uh, Cloris Leachman. Also be pretty good. I think she was the I think she was Dola in the English dub of Castle in the Sky or Laputa in Europe. Was that Phyllis Diller? It was also in a lot of animated things. No, I think that was Chloris was Dola. That's more like it. Now, which way's me diner? Oh. Okay. Well, he got back from Pirate Land to, uh... Well, he, he went straight back to the right time and place. What a lucky motherfucker. Those, those are some, those are some hidden crates. Those, uh, there's a lot of these. It would be easily missed. Man, they put- they purposely put them in places where they're gonna blend in with the other non-collectible wooden crates. Oh boy. Oh boy, you don't have much time for this at all. Well, I hope the boat comes back, because I, I lost it. I don't think the boat's gonna come back. Oh no, it's it's fine. You got plenty, you got time to, like, just stop and do stuff. Carry this. No harm in having it. Ah! Oh. Charisse Booth. Oh, I don't recognize her. I got this. This old lady's voice is bugging me. Nausicaa English cast. I think I think she has three names, the actress I'm thinking of. And she always does great batty old lady characters. Tress McNeil. That's who I'm thinking of. Press McNeil is my favorite old lady voice. Oh, oh, I don't want to suck the nitros. 
Nitro suck bad. Much of this before I get on the boat as I can. No, get the man. I should have just spun them. That's what I should have done. Now, how far is the boat gonna go? They gotta give you the chance to stop and do this stuff. Although that would beg the question of why they would use the boat. So maybe they maybe they won't. No, it stops. I got time to do all this at least while I'm on the boat. I just gotta not suck the. I gotta really not suck the nitro! Because that would be bad. Unfortunately, it's hard to turn around. In time, thanks to the, uh, the conveyor belts, which is the purpose of the conveyor belts. That's, that's, that's better. That's a better plan to do that. I think I remember Cortex gameplay being shown off in promotional stuff for this game. I don't remember if Tana was. She might have been a surprise. I mean, I was aware that uh, I was aware there were Tana levels in the game. I don't remember if it's may maybe it's because I saw someone else do those that little like demo play of it before, or maybe she wasn't promotional stuff and I just forgot. Also likely. Ah. Uh, hmm. I can't tell if they were got or not. I think they were got, because the boat is down here now. Yeah, the boat's the boat seems to be parked. Stagnant water smells like home. I want I'm gonna kill the boat guy. The boat guy was very mean to crash. Gotta do single jump platforming. Five hundred and two crates. Dingo dial levels. What are you doing? 
How how my how many is enough? Jiggling. Commence the jiggling. Cherise Booth. I, I, I'm theorizing maybe she was Sugar Mama in the Proud Family. Maybe not. Maybe that was too long ago. We, we jiggling while we look stuff up. Kung Fu Panda, Voltron, Overwatch. Nope. It's fairly recent stuff. Her first role was like uh, 2004. Alright, Jiglin's done. Upable, aren't they? No. didn't even see what happened. Well, I guess we're back here again. Oh no, man, I gotta check high places again? Probably gonna be meaner this time too because they didn't hide any way up here last time. So far, there haven't been any crates off-camera, any crates or gems, at least. Oh, and the boat's going faster, too. They added difficulty to this particular continuity. Ah! I was right. There was something up there. I just, I died for it. I wasn't fast enough. This is going to be a short one. The 
Shorter than four hours, I guess, but... Slid too far. This is also the point of the stream where I'm running out of commentary because now I'm just I, I'm just spending the whole time getting mad at the levels. Muttering voodoo curses under my breath. There was a uh, Did You Know Gaming did a video recently where they got Knob. That is a British penis. No, uh, the... The original translator for the early Pokemon games. Like, the first five generations of Pokemon games. To, uh, come up with names for... Pokemon that, like, beta Pokemon. Pokemon that, uh, were not... Ever in a, in a full capacity but had Japanese names from their respective beta versions. It's a neat idea for a video. Alright. past the particularly nasty part. Now we just have the stupid uphill river again. The downhill river. Alright, here we go. Boring but practical. Level's gonna be a nightmare to get the the insane, the insanely perfect relic for. It's got so many extremely difficult sections that I only get one try at. No. Okay. Alright, we're at the point of the river where it's slow enough that I can go back if necessary. So I can be a little bit less careful. A little bit. Oh, fake crash. What's up? You having a good time? I'm having a good time. They had to know you could do this, right? Uh-oh. all the crates on this gem on this level the first time through. Can I do it for this dingo dial bastardized version? I'm still surprised he said that. For short. 
We missed four crates somewhere out of 502. God, these Dingo Dial levels don't mess around. And still no hidden gem. I failed to find the hidden gem on both versions of that level. So next time, we'll be going to a new world, and we'll have a new mask power that has something to do with time, presumably. The 11th Dimension, 1954. Isn't this Cortex's base from Twin Sanity? Wasn't it on, like, an ice mountain? Is this Twin Sanity stuff coming? I imagine this is going to be that. Just looking at this, this is the place where we're going to unlock Cortex. Or we're going to have our first Cortex level. Because, again, I know that's in this game. But that won't be this time. That'll be next time. I'm, I'm going to save these levels because I've been going over two and a half hours. So it's looking like it'll probably be about one world per stream, in which case we would have like, I don't know, four more streams of this. I don't actually know how many more worlds there are for sure. And then we got the time trials to do. So plenty more of this to come. There's going to be more. There's going to be a lot of crash for upcoming. That's it for today. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you next time I get the chance to stream.